Hi friends, welcome to Curious Vet channel. I am Dr. Masina. So the topic for today's video is an important topic. It is an important portion in uh, the veterinary gynecology that is induction of abortion in cattle. Therapeutic abortion may be indicated during normal or abnormal pregnancy in cows. Induced abortion can be included in the treatment protocols for pathological conditions of pregnancy including fetal mummification, maceration, hydroamnion and hydroallantois. So before going to the uh, details and drugs causing induction of abortion, first of all let's go through the physiology of pregnancy maintenance. Gestation in the cow extends 270 to 292 days after breeding. Once conception has occurred, progesterone is essential for pregnancy maintenance. Both luteal and extra ovarian sources of progesterone must be eliminated for successful induction of abortion. Although the maternal endocrine events of the first 15 days of cycle and of pregnancy are similar, the conceptors secrete a range of products including steroids, prostaglandins and proteins beginning at 12 to 13 days of gestation. At least one of these products result in maternal recognition of pregnancy by inhibition of luteolysis and prolo prolonged luteal lifespan. These effects are mediated by attenuation of endogenous prostaglandin F2-alpha that is PGF2-alpha secretion. The functional life of corpus luteum is controlled by a balance of luteotropic factors like luteinizing hormone and luteolytic factors like PGF2 alpha. PGF2 alpha is a naturally occurring luteolysing acting both directly and indirectly on the corpus luteum. They cause local vasoconstriction of luteal blood flow. However, PGF2-alpha receptors are present on luteal cells and PGF2-alpha has a direct effect on luteal progesterone secretion. Endogenous luteolysis occurs in response to a cascade of hormonal events that result in pulsatile PGF2-alpha secretion. It has been proposed that as part of this cascade, estradiol induces oxytocin receptors on endometrial cells. Oxytocin activates those receptors, resulting in the synthesis and secretion of PGF2-alpha. Peripheral progesterone levels fluctuates between 6 and 15 nanogram per ml throughout gestation with a gradual decline in the 2 to 4 weeks preceding parturition. Pregnant cows that undergo ovariectomy before the first 3 to 5 months of gestation will abort. In cows overectomized after 200 days of gestation, progesterone secretion is maintained although at significantly lower levels than before overectomy. Those cows do not abort, but parturition is advanced by 2 weeks and may be accompanied by dystochia and retained fetal membranes. Adrenal glands contribute 1 to 4 nanogram per ml of progesterone. In summary, progesterone is luteal in origin for the first 150 days of gestation. Between 150 and 250 days, placenta acts as additional source of progesterone. In the final month of gestation, placental progesterone declines and pregnancy is again dependent on luteal progesterone.
Successful treatment to induce abortion must lower circulating progesterone below 1 nanogram per ml which is the threshold necessary to maintain pregnancy. Must be directed specifically at the source of progesterone appropriate for the stage of gestation at the time of treatment. Coming to the mechanism of action of different therapeutic agents in the induction of abortion in cattle. So the important drugs used for induction of abortion in cattle are prostaglandin, PGF2-alpha, glucocorticoids, estrogens and oxytocin. Let's see one by one. So first one we will discuss about prostaglandin PGF2-alpha and how it, it causes induction of abortion in cattle. The corpus luteum is sensitive to PGF2 alpha beginning 5 to 7 days after ovulation. In both normal and abnormal pregnancy, administration of PGF2 alpha after that time result in luteolysis at any stage of pregnancy. That is after 5 to 7 days of ovulation PGF2 alpha will cause abortion. However, PGF2 alpha treatment alone induces abortion only up to 5 months of gestation. Rarely luteolysis is incomplete in which in which case luteal progesterone remains above the threshold and partial cervical dilation and abdominal straining may occur before the cow resumes normal gestation. So that is the mechanism of action of uh, prostaglandin PGF2 alpha. Now coming to the role of glucocorticoids that is the mechanism of action of glucocorticoids in induction of abortion in cattle. Glucocorticoid treatment appears to reduce placental progesterone secretion from 150 days of gestation. Luteal progesterone is unaffected, however, and abortion does not result from glucocorticoid treatment until the last month of gestation. During the first month of gestation, glucocorticoids act at the fetoplacental unit to increase the production of estradiol and PGF2 alpha, resulting in induced parturition. A combination of PGF2 alpha and glucocorticoids will induce abortion from 150 days of gestation. That's all about these uh, corticosteroids. Now coming to estrogens, the role of estrogens and their mechanism of action in the induction of abortion in cattle. Treatment with estrogen during the first two to three days after ovulation alters the ovidectal transport of the bovine embryo and terminates pregnancy. After the development of corpus luteum, estrogen causes luteolysis by inducing the endogenous PGF2 alpha luteolytic cascade from the endometrium. The endometrium must be intact for estrogens to induce abortion. Estrogen is an exogenous luteolysin with unknown effects on the fetoplacental unit. Therefore, abortion can be induced reliably at up to 150 days of gestation.
ട്രീറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് കൗസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ടു ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് ടു ട്വൻറ്റി ഡേയ്സ് ഓഫ് ജസ്റ്റേഷൻ വിത്ത് ത്രീ മില്ലിഗ്രാം എസ്ട്രാഡിയോർ വാൽറേറ്റ് എലോൺ ഓർ ഇൻ കോമ്പിനേഷൻ വിത്ത് ഡെക്സാമറ്റസോൺ ഹാസ് നോട്ട് ബീൻ ഷോൺ ടു ഡിക്രീസ് സെറം പ്രോജസ്റ്റിറോൺ ഓർ റിസൾട്ട് ഇൻ അബോഷൻ ട്രീറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് വിത്ത് എസ്ട്രാഡിയോൾ ഓർ ഇറ്റ് സിന്തറ്റിക് ഡെറിവേറ്റീവ്സ് റിസൾട്ട് ഇൻ പ്രൊലോങ്ഡ് ഇസ്ട്രസ് ബിഹേവ്യർ വൾവ സ്വെല്ലിംഗ് മ്യൂക്യോപ്യുറൽ ആൻഡ് ഡിസ്ചാർജ് ആൻഡ് റിലാക്സേഷൻ ഓഫ് പാർട്സ് ഓഫ് ദ പോസ്റ്റീരിയർ റീപ്രൊഡക്റ്റീവ് ട്രാക്ട് The function of the utero-tubal junction as a sphincter may be impaired, possibly allowing ascending infection and salpingitis. Time to return to the fertile estrus after estrogen treatment may be longer than after prostaglandin treatment. coming to the next drug that is oxytocin the mechanism of action of oxytocin in induction of abortion in cattle treatment of cows with oxytocin from days 2 to 7 after estrus with 100 to 200 international unit of oxytocin prevents pregnancy probably by preventing normal luteal development so oxytocin prevents pregnancy uh, sorry oxytocin uh, causes abortion by preventing the normal luteal development That's all about induction of abortion in cattle. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, like it. If you have any suggestions, please comment and share the video with your friends. If you are new to this channel or not subscribed yet, please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. I will be uploading at least one video every week. So see you soon with another video. Thank you all.